Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to John on a Bike. Something a little bit different today. I don't normally do unboxings and things. Uh, but I'm going to do it here. Got some little bit different. Bought, bought myself. I finally bit the bullet. Um, for, for a long time I've been looking for a, a pair of shorts, a new pair of shorts. The shorts that I've got at the moment are fine. I mean, they work absolutely great for shorter distances. <laughs> Short for shorter distances. But, um, you know, up to like say 40 miles and things like that, they're absolutely fine, no problems at all. But I've been finding over 40 miles, uh, you know, because at the moment, obviously, we're in lockdown, but I'm just doing loops around, but I can easily get up to 40 miles. Uh, and I'm starting to get a little bit of pain, if you like, on the lower regions. So I've been looking for a pair of um, shorts, but finding waist shorts, I mean, normal waist shorts, um, it's just a nightmare. You just kind of get a hold of them, it's so hard to get a hold of them because obviously everybody's buying bib shorts. And I've always been a bit uh, reluctant to get bib shorts. Um, a bit warm in here. Um, I've always been a bit reluctant with bib shorts because I just don't see the, the the thing, the point of having, you know, straps over your arms and extra material on your back and that kind of thing. So I've always been a little bit put off by it. And of course, you know, going to the toilet. You know, people say it's pretty hard to go to the toilet. Um, anyway, I've looked around and I thought, you know. I've got to try it. At some point, I've got to, I've got to give it a go, you know, and see what they like. Um, you know, I can't really diss things and knock things if I haven't tried them myself. So I thought I'd get myself a pair of bib shorts. So I've been looking around, um, and I finally bought myself my very first pair of bib shorts. Um, I've actually just to snipped the top of the packet there before I start a video on. Um, so these are um, BH, DHB, DHB wiggle ones. Um, the uh, I forget the name of them now. It's gone. But I'll read on the on the screen here what they what they are. But these actually weren't from the Wiggle site. The Wiggle ones were like 75, 70, 80 pounds price range, something like that. These have got brand new off eBay for 35 pounds when I bought them. Um, I'll put the link in the description. I've got no affiliation with the person who's selling them. I don't know. I mean, hopefully they're all right. I haven't packed them yet. But I'll put the link in there. So if you want to go and have a look at them. Um, actually, when I looked the other day, they'd gone up to 38 because he had said that he had to put his price up to do with the coronavirus. Some of the packaging pricing has gone up or something, so he's had to put the price up. So they were 35 when I bought them, and they're now 38. But still, um, you know, 70, 80 pounds on wiggle. Um, so I'm going to get them on now. Bit of unboxing. DHB. DHB. And you can see there, it's got the tags on. So they are brand new. So that was another worry getting them off eBay. I thought, uh, Aeron, that's it, that's what they are. The Aeron, A E R O N, Aeron, Aeron. So the D D H B Aeron shorts. Um, so there was, uh, I, I was kind of dubious getting them off eBay because I thought, well, if I get them off eBay and they're you know, being warm before or something like that, but they're not the brand new in the packaging tags. Um, so I thought I'd video myself here, you know, I'd like to see these things, so i unbox them. I've actually got another um, unboxing video I'll have soon, because I've got something coming off um, Plan X. I was hoping to come to DS, so I'd do it both at the same time, but it hasn't come yet. Um, so let's have a look at these. So yes, so these are DHB. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully the performance folks are alright. Um, Air on. The black and red ones, and um, they've also got something on there which I read about. I don't know if it's any good or if it actually works, but it's got elastic interface. Something, something to do with the um, the chamois leather inside moves around or something, something like that apparently. Uh, but these are the ones I've bought. Let's have a look. First time opening them. That's them there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear these tomorrow. I'm going to go off for a ride tomorrow. Well, it looks like a nice, nice um, inside there, insert there. Look at that. That's quite a good pad, though. Look at that pad. That's a nice little pad. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to give these a try tomorrow. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Apparently, it's going to be like 19, 20 degrees tomorrow. So I'm going to give these a ride out. I'll take my camera with this, and I'll report back to you what I think of them, and if they're any good. And if I'm going to convert to bib shorts, if this is the way forward for me, because I've got these inside out, now can I get them back? Because um, like I say, I've always had waist shorts, you know, I've been cycling for like 30 plus years, never had anything else but waist shorts. 
had no problems with them, but getting a hold of them these days is a nightmare. So I thought I'd give the bib shots a try. Apparently that tag on the back of that orange tag is, is to say that it's got that um, elasticated um, chamois leather, that, what do you call it? Elastic, elastic interface, that's what that's on the back there that tells you it's got that inside. Um, seeing it's got the same logo on. So see if that's any good, some kind of fancy technology there. But I read quite a few reviews on these and apparently they're really good. You know, people said they're very good. Um, it's got leg grippers on the legs there. That's something I've never really had any problems with as well. You know, people say about like legs that'll ride up your legs. And I've never had much problem with that with any shorts in the past, without even without these leg grippers. Uh, but a lot of people said for bibs, the reason they got bibs is because, you know, um, it keeps the, 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 the chamois in the right place. Well, yeah, fair enough. That's, I can understand that. Um, stop you getting builder's crack, boss. You know, see bots hanging out in shorts. Well, I don't honestly say how you could do that. You know, unless your shorts are very, very small waist. I mean, my shorts are quite, me waist shorts are quite high up, so I don't know how that happens. But anyway, um, I thought I'd give these a try. And I'll, uh, as I say, I'll uh, put another video up um, of me trying them out, actually, on the bike and see what I think. See what, me, see what my thoughts are, and I'll uh, be doing another unboxing soon when my next package comes. It's got a few bits and bobs in there, so if you want to see an unboxing of that as well, I should, I should, should show you because I know a lot of people like unboxing and stuff. So, yeah, my new shorts, my new bib shorts, DHB, Arion, 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 <laughs> however you pronounce it, um, and I'll let you know how I'll get on with them. Okay, short little video of this one. So, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.